Thanks for tuning in to News Channel 12 Live at 1. I'm Gina Kleinacroft. And I'm Noah McGee. After a re-canvas of votes from all 120 counties, the Kentucky governor's race is finally over. Thursday's re-canvas confirmed Democratic challenger Andy Bashir beat Republican incumbent Matt Bevin by approximately 5,000 votes. Now, both men say they want a smooth transition and a future that works for all Kentuckians. We're going to have a change uh, in the governorship uh, based on the vote of the people. And what I want uh, is to see the absolute best for Kentucky. I'm not going to contest uh, these numbers that have come in. At the end of the day, we are all on Team Kentucky. Whether we are Democrats, Republicans, or Independents, we share more in common as Kentuckians than any national divisions can ever pull us apart. 2020 Senate race, radio host Matt Jones says he will not enter the race against Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Jones took a break from his talk show, Kentucky Sports Radio, last week after the Kentucky Republican Party complained he was using it to promote his potential candidacy. Jones, a longtime critic of McConnell, is working on a book about the six-term senator called Mitch Please. It's set to be released in March. Lawmakers in Washington are putting a microscope on the vaping health crisis. Camilla Bernal shares what members of the Senate Committee on Health heard on Wednesday from officials with the CDC and the Center for De Tobacco Products. As states around the country deal with a vaping epidemic, senators on Capitol Hill trying to get to the root of the problem. This harms you. This will addict you. This could ultimately kill you. The Senate Committee on Health Wednesday heard from health administrators whose agencies are currently investigating the issue. We continue to suggest that people consider refraining from use of all e-cigarettes or vaping products. So far, it doesn't appear that any one product is to blame, but many cases do seem to be linked with illegal sales. The investigation has also found that THC has been present in most of the samples that the FDA has tested. On Friday, the CDC said vitamin E acetate, an additive sometimes used in THC and other vaping products, may be to blame. What we cannot say right now is whether there are other substances. As they figure it out, health officials sounding the alarm on the rise of youth vaping. Most young people walk around thinking that e-cigarettes are harmless. But while senators agree on the problem... It just seems to me we need swift, bold, quick action. The solution will be harder to find. We're probably going to end up doing the wrong thing, but if you want less kids to smoke, I'd just increase the penalties on people selling to kids, and you might have less kids smoking. In Washington, I'm Camila Bernal reporting. As lawmakers work to address vaping policy, doctors are dealing with the health impacts. In Detroit, a 16-year-old needed a double lung transplant. Doctors say they believe it's the United States' first such surgery on a patient whose lungs were damaged after vaping. The team was admitted to the hospital on September 6th with what looked like pneumonia. The transplant was, successful on October, was on October 15th and was successful. The patient, who wants to remain anonymous for now, asked the hospital to share his story to, quote, warn others. In an effort to address health concerns, WKU is becoming a tobacco-free campus on January 1st, 2020. The policy includes vaping and applies to all WKU properties. Reporter Lakira DeBerry spoke with one student who's already preparing for the change. So I started smoking whenever I was about 19 years old, um, on and off, and I just smoked it because I liked the flavor of it, and um, I continue to smoke it um, pretty often, but here, I, here soon, I think I'm gonna stop. So I wanna stop juuling because of like health reasons and I've noticed um, since I have been juuling that even with like shortness of breath walking upstairs cause I live at the fourth floor in Midtown and that's made me not being able to like get all the way up to the fourth floor and not be out of breath. I realized like if I stopped that'd probably improve like me being able to breathe better and just like walking distances. Since the president, he's in the process of banning flavored jewel pods and flavored juices for e-cigs. That'll also lower the rate of people buying them and consuming them. The more and more the media puts this out there, it's gonna scare people and the numbers will eventually go down on top of WKU's enforcing not um, having them on campus. If you're trying to quit smoking, WKU is offering resources to students, faculty and staff, and community members. 
You can find more information by visiting wku.edu slash tobacco free.